Hi guys, um, today I want to do a video um, all about primers because I've been getting a lot of um, questions from you guys um, asking which are the best primers um, for different prices and stuff so I thought that I'd run through the things that I've used and which are good and stuff like that um, uh, like some people use Vaseline as a primer I've never used Vaseline um, and I've never used foundation or any kind of concealer as a primer, so I don't know how those work. Um, sometimes people don't necessarily need primers all the time. Um, I always use a primer just because it helps to keep my eyeshadow where it's meant to be and to stop it kind of shifting throughout the day. Um, it stops creasing of the eyeshadow, it stops it fading. Um, it helps loose eyeshadow stick a lot better. Um, and I also think it does help. Um, bl blending and things like that. Um, the first primer that I ever used was Shadow Insurance um, by Too Faced and this um, is just a um, kind of like a cream eyeshadow base. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see the colour. It's kind of like a natural colour but kind of once it's blended in you can't see it so it'll be fine for any skin tone. Um, there's also like shade sticks that you can use. This is by MAC. This is just um, shark skin, which is um, a black kind of grey shimmery colour. Um, the shade sticks work really well. Um, if I'm using kind of dark colours, I'll tend to maybe line my eye or do like a thin strip um, of the black shark skin and it will really help my makeup stick. Um, it does, if you kind of do it all over the eye, and right up here and then fill it in with eyeshadow um, after a while it does tend to crease so I wouldn't suggest using a whole ton of it on your lid um, I've used uh, Barry M soft crayon pencil as a base before when I use like vibrant blues this does work um, it doesn't work all day long it'll kind of work for about five hours um, so it, it's good payoff but maybe not ideal um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is in like a trial size. It's quite small. Um, this is really, really good. It reminds me a lot of Too Faced Shadow Insurance, the way it works. Um, it's kind of darker in colour and it does leave like a residue of colour. Um, so it's probably not ideal for darker skin tones. But I don't know, they may do different colours of this, which would be good if they did. But it does work really well. Um, but my favourite to use are the Paint Pops by MAC. Um, I always use Painterly just because um, it matches my skin tone really well. Um, and it acts as a concealer as well, so I've kind of got two things in one. Um, this lasts all day. I put this on in the mornings and my makeup looks like I've just applied it, even in the evening time. So um, I love this. I use it all the time. So if you're thinking of buying a primer... Um, my suggestion would be um, a paint pot, specifically a matte one. Um, their study, which a lot of people buy, which is this one, is actually very shimmery. Um, it's like a kind of goldy, creamy, shimmery sort of colour compared to this is painterly and this is bare study. So you can see it shimmering. Um, so I'd kind of not be careful but kind of maybe go into store and have a look if you can't then obviously try and find YouTube videos where they show you the um, obviously the paint pot that you're thinking of buying just so that you can kind of see whether it's a shimmery colour or whether it's a matte um, I suggest a matte because you can then apply any eyeshadow over the top whereas if you use a shimmery one sometimes it kind of looks a bit strange unless you're wanting that effect um, so I hope this has helped um, clear up some kind of issues people are having with primers. You don't need primers, but um, I highly suggest them. I always use them. Um, I know you can also use primers, like face primers for foundations. Um, I haven't tried any of those. I just tend to use my foundation, you know, straight on. So, um, after I've moisturised. So, I hope this has helped. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.